Listen guys, our iPhones are boring. Everyone has a system that looks exactly the same, the same widgets, fonts, icons, everything. But it doesn't have to be this way. Today I'm gonna show you a few ways to make your iPhone more stylish and improve productivity. Let's not waste a single second and jump right in. I will start by making the phone look nicer. First step, changing the wallpaper. You can search for wallpapers online, but I will use this little app called Wallpapers for iPhone and iPad. Dude really has to come up with a better name. Okay, in the app you'll find a number of wallpaper selections from best to Christmas. I will select this one looks aesthetic and really relaxing. I think it will fit perfectly with our next modifications. Second step is hiding all apps from the home screen. Just long press the home screen, select all apps and drag them onto a separate screen. Then click here on these dots that show home screens and turn off the one with apps. Now take a screenshot of an empty home screen. The next thing to do is install a few widget apps. I'll show you three starting with Widgie. This widget app is absolutely amazing. For starters, it has a wide range of pre-made widgets in different styles, sunrise, sunset, data usage, lifetime. Some widgets are better, some worse. In the explore section, you can see hundreds of individual widgets and entire widget packs made by other people. Just look at all this variety. Alongside home screen widgets, Widgie also has widgets for the lock screen and Apple Watch. Lock screen pre-made widgets are pretty nice, pretty minimalistic. Once you find the widget you like, click on it and choose import. I will add this one, simple home screen 1.0. If you go back to the create tab, you can customize every widget to your liking. Click on widget, edit, and you will see a full layout of your widget and all its elements. You can click on each one, enable or disable it by clicking on this eye icon or change their location by clicking on the element name and later on arrows to move the element up, down, left, right. You can choose the size of each element, background image, and even add new custom layers. This way you can truly customize any existing widget and tune it to your liking or even to a particular wallpaper. You can create a totally custom widget from scratch by clicking on create new widget. I can say that creating a widget from scratch is easy, but at least you get a ton of freedom to do what you like. Now go to manage and select the slot that matches the size of your widget. In my case, it's the large widget. Choose the widget location on the home screen and at some point the app will ask you to create a transparent background. And that's where you'll need to upload that screenshot you just took. The final window you see is the widget customization that allows you to choose a font and a color scheme. Once you do all that, go back to the empty home screen, long press, click on the plus sign and in the list of widgets choose Widgie. Now select the widget you just created and boom, you're done. This way you can add a number of widgets and really make your iPhone unique. But that's still not everything. Now go to a built-in shortcuts app. If you don't have one, download it from the App Store. You also need icons. The easiest way is to just download an icon pack online. Choose any website you like. I will personally choose this style and download a pack of icons. What you want to do next is open the shortcuts app and create a separate shortcut for each app. Tap the plus sign, add action and choose open app. Choose the app you want to open open and rename it. Now tap the drop down button, click add to home screen. Now click on the icon and choose the icon from the pack. If you want your shortcut to be text free, just erase the shortcut name and you are done. Repeat that process for every app you want on your home screen. Now you have a very nice looking home screen with clean icons and minimalistic widgets. If you don't want all the hassle I show you, you may simply want nice widgets. As I said before, I was going to show you three apps with widgets. So the second widget focused app is Color Widgets. This app is exactly what you expect. Tons and tons of widgets to choose from. Aesthetic ones, weird ones, useful ones, anything you want. And it also has lock screen widgets, but their number is pretty small. It's a free app, so check it out. And the third app is Lock Widget. This app primarily focuses on widgets for your lock screen. It has much more lock screen widgets than the previous app, but less home screen widgets. The widget selection in this app is crazy. You have simple and useful widgets and you have widgets that make your lock screen look good like these animated ones. 
There is no practical reason to have such widgets, but I can see girls going crazy for Hello Kitty widgets. I think it's time to take a little detour and talk about useful apps. The first such app will be on screen. This app allows you to pass code lock or hide apps on your iPhone. The app is very easy to use. Open the app, click here, plus add session. Now you have three options. Select apps for password lock, for hiding, or block any website. Above these three options, you can select when you want the blocking to be active. For example, you don't want to be able to open Instagram until you finished your work. Just add an app, specify time period, and hit done. Now, while you work, you can't access Instagram. It just says the app is locked. I think this app is a worthy step up over the screen time that will help you concentrate more and eliminate distractions. The next app is Picture in Picture Splitware. PIP Splitware is definitely a cool app that can help boost productivity in a simple yet effective way. With this app, you can place anything you want in a picture in picture mode. It can be a bullet chart, a to do list, a photo of your dog anything. For example, if you're trying to describe an image or rewrite something from a website, you can open it in picture-in-picture -picture mode over any app you use. I personally find picture-in-picture -picture splitware to be an excellent addition to my workflow, especially when I need to refer to certain information while working on a task. With this app, I can easily keep track of my to-do list or reference materials without losing focus on my current task. It's also a great tool for multitasking, allowing me to stay on top of my work while keeping the necessary information within reach. What you also want to download right now is the AI Chat. AI Chat is a must-have app for anyone who uses ChatGPT regularly on their computer. With this app, you can have all the functionalities of ChatGPT right at your fingertips. It's like having your very own mobile ChatGPT in your pocket. You can ask it to write emails, essays, or help you brainstorm ideas just like you would on your computer. The beauty of AI Chat lies in its convenience and accessibility. Instead of being tied to your computer, you can now use ChatGPT on the go and get things done more efficiently. Whether you are commuting, waiting in line, or simply taking a break from your desk, AI Chat can help you stay productive and make the most of your time. Next, I definitely recommend installing the Grammarly keyboard. The Grammarly keyboard is an essential tool for anyone who wants to improve their writing skills and ensure that their texts are error-free. As we all know, Grammarly is a powerful service for spelling and grammar checking, and the Grammarly keyboard brings this functionality to your fingertips. This app is a game changer for anyone who wants to keep their text correct and well-written on the go. One of the most important impressive features of the Grammarly keyboard is its seamless integration with any app you use on your iPhone. You simply need to turn on the keyboard in your settings and you can use it everywhere from messages to Google Docs. If you make a mistake, the keyboard will suggest changes in real time, making it incredibly fast and easy to correct your text. Personally, I find the Grammarly keyboard to be an incredibly useful app, especially when I'm sending important emails or working on documents on my iPhone. It saves me time and ensures that my texts are always error-free, which is important when communicating with colleagues, clients, or friends. Your phone nowadays is a continuation of your personality, so you definitely should make it as personal as possible. Try making it more minimalistic or more aesthetic. Download apps to make yourself more productive. Just go crazy. Hope you've learned something useful today and see you in the next one.